on a hat. My make seven up your shirt. Welcome to the new driveway. Um, original quote was $23,000. We're gonna walk the whole thing. We're gonna get an Amazon package because the gate can't drive up until it's, don't drive on it yet. Should get the truck off the grass. Um, as you can see, there, it's not very black toppy up here. Like this is gravel. This is what the driver used to be. This is packed stone, which is still loose. I could still get a shovel and like make, break it up, but they steamrolled it. And about two hours into this job, they were like, we don't like anything. And they were like, oh, you know, I don't like it either. Apparently my garage, which was built by the previous owner, is in a hole and it would need to be five or six inches higher to not flood because if they added three inches of asphalt to this it would just all go there and then you can't drain it off the sides like put a drain in because it's all level they actually ripped up and put a uh uh just like a, they just fucked up my grass real bad <laughs> it's like yeah we're just gonna fuck up your grass here and that'll uh that'll help so like great good job great i'm happy with this so this is just so that water can hopefully hopefully drain there this is all just loose gravel still they can only drive the uh thing over it so hard but ignore that so there you can see they cut it down like the grass is high here they tried to bring it so that it would drain there so the options were to you just pave it because i was already designed to pave it and then whatever happens, happens. But he said what will probably happen is just have pooling anywhere randomly because they can't tilt it. Like they'd have to dig down like a foot and a half here and then they, that's not what they're here to do. So this is a much more compact stone. The actual paving paving starts here. So that's so why it was still $19,000 is because from here, from this line to the road is like 565 feet. Um, so yeah, I think we did the calculations. I saved like one third of the asphalt by doing not doing this. And water will land on this and drain and it'll be all right. If that's an oil stain, it's probably an oil stain from the thing. There's some marks on it from when they had the steamrollers. Still warm to the touch, which is what we're letting it do. They uh, cut a bunch of these bushes or uh, branches away and they sort of left them here, so. This is gonna be, oh, that's, that's, they're big and heavy too. I gotta deal with that. You know what? I got a quad. I'm gonna just loop a thing around it and pull that shit away. I will not drive the quad in this right away. Are you just an asphalt chunk? Go live in the fucking hole with the goddamn groundhog. That was a perfect kick, by the way. Nice lip. I would love to advertise the company that did it. Oh, did they put a piece of, I hate that. I put a piece of goddamn wood into my asphalt. It just fell off the tree or something. Groundhog hole. It is. Oh, I, I want to drive on it so bad. But it's like, look, I said you could drive it in the first day. Don't. Give it a day. Like all this stuff here, this will probably break down and fall on the edge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they, they removed quite a bit of actual... All the stuff they took off off the edges is now dumped in the back. I'm mean, using use it as a start of a berm. This actually had a lip. I know this section had like that much lip. So they probably added material and then poured on top of it. So we've got... A, it's actually above ground now. And this is between 10 and 11 feet all the way down to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Which she was like, hey, you sure you want me to come in here and cut this up? Because this is the accent he's got. Because he's in, the, we're in Pennsylvania here. And I'm like, but well, I don't like mowing this. He's like, well, I don't blame you. Because here it's level. But there's no way the mower's going to be able to cope with. That's that much asphalt. It's nice and thick. I want to pressure wash this whole thing. Um, I spent the extra. The reason it was 23000 and not nineteen five which is what I paid. The reason it was 23,000 was this is a Pennsylvania DOT spec, which is what they pave the roads with. And you never see them do a, a seal on the roads. Like most of the time asphalt, you have to seal it every two years. 
And if I would have done the whole driveway, that would have been $2,000 every two years, and that's fucking dumb. So instead, spent, originally it was a 19.5, it was going to be $23,000, so it's $3,500 more to get the better asphalt. So I wouldn't have to seal it. And since I didn't do the top, now I'm back to 19.5 and just straight cost. Oh, it's so nice to walk on this. I mean, it's actually worse to walk on it because with the was gravel, your foot would land and flatten. So now it's just a slope. I can't wait to get my bicycle out and just fucking ride it down this. I'm going to hit 50 miles an hour over here. There's a fucking stick in my, in my goddamn driveway now. Whereas before, I wouldn't have noticed a stick. But now I noticed a stick. I'm also looking for garbage because they had a bunch of... Uh... Did they cut that? Huh. I think they cut... Did they cut that? That looks like they cut that. I feel like they cut this. Yeah, this is all fresh. I've remembered, like that i'm gonna come back here with the chainsaw and do it up a little better oh that's a big one that's a big one that's a big boy branch we're gonna go lay this to rest over here hold on I think I'm gonna... right in there. that's perfect sorted sorted well at least there's no garbage oh, wait no i lied I lied, horse. Hi, horse. There's a fucking cup. Anyway, here's what's the problem. Is this road wasn't level. It was just like a, a sloping, like he drove the car in it. So he leveled it so that from there to there is fine. The problem is it's so high up now on gravel and asphalt that from here to there is like a foot difference. It's even steeper over there. And because of that steepness, he's like, you really, really should backfill this with dirt. Like, bring in a, tr a couple truckloads of dirt, put down the truckloads of dirt right here. And I'm, I'd plan to do that, but he's like, yeah, uh, topsoil is like $40 a yard. Or $40 a ton. A ton. 2,000 pounds of dirt for 40 bucks. That's fucking cheap. At least I thought it was cheap. He said it was cheaper. Now it's not cheap anymore. But, um, yeah, apparently I would need a hundred tons. And I'm like, excuse me? So yeah, I would need a hundred tons of dirt to, to taper out like from like here to there, six or seven feet out. So I'm like, okay, we'll put that on the burner until next week. This is fine. There's my caution tape, which hopefully no one ignores and drives over. I'm gonna buy a trailer. I think we're selling a trailer. Hold on a second. Oh god. Oh, it's just it's jam-packed in there. Oh yeah. The birds are doing nice things. Hope there's no fucking poisonous spiders in this fucking mailbox. Alright, good enough. So we got some Amazon packages, which we will go up and open. They cut the road, they did it nice, tapered it. How's the water going to react to this? Because the water usually comes out over there. Fucks up my neighbor's driveway. This will probably come down fine. Anyway, so now we're going back up. This should be real warm. Oh yeah, that's like, that's like hot. Basically, that's hot. So, perfectly smooth, level. It's tilted a little bit, just for runoff. You don't want to make it perfectly flat, but... Even with it being tilted a little, that's a slope. And with the horses in there that have to come in and out, they'd have to go not on this for like weeks. I know. Let's see what else I've got to deal with on the side of my fucking house. I would have brought the chainsaw. I would have made this a really interesting video. Yeah, I got to come through here and do a, br a brush cleaning anyway. I feel like that might be a once a year hire a company to just fuck things up. I, you know what? You know what? Is this tree dead? Oh fuck, are you one of the dead trees? Well, I was cut off a living. That tree looks alive. You can tell if a tree is dead.
But if it has lots of little branches, are you a completely dead tree? Oh, you're huge. Oh, you're fucking huge. And you'll damage my driveway. I'm gonna have to cut some shit off myself, but not right now. It'll be fine. Yeah, this is the steepest part here. This is like a step down. Like don't, don't bring the caprice off the edge or you're gonna fall. Because this rock will stay for now, but it's, it's, there's nothing to hold it. Like it needs more to hold it. The horse is just nodding at me. It's like, yeah, yeah, uh-huh, absolutely. So, is it worth another $5,000? So the, the $3,500 I saved, return that to the, the fucking fund and then add another $1,500. Mm. Still, it's a nice job, real thick. Real fucking thick there to make this level. Cause this used to have like waves in it, like rollerblade, like a roller coaster. And now it's just down. Oh, uh, if, it, if it rains, it'll actually cool this off faster and help me show if I'm gonna have drainage problems. And if I wanna pave up there later, I could, you could just do it. Here, just strip that off. The way they stripped it with the Bobcat was way, way faster than I thought it would be. Hills are my natural enemy. Give me a second. We're going up. There's an old cinder block in there. Any other weird garbage? Cups. Dirt. This dirt actually is higher than the road from them pushing it up, so it might wash in. Here it's level. It's my stick. Fuck. There's a plastic bag. All right. Hold on. Living. Ugh. When you see garbage on your property, when it's actually your property, fuck. It's like, yeah. You see a bottle on the side of the street in a park, you're like, eh. I live here. No one's coming to get that plastic but me. What I thought was a newly charged battery, it died halfway up or two thirds of the way up. But I think we got the point across. Also, don't buy magazine extenders for your 10 millimeter uh, Glock mags. Um, these are the Chris Vector ones. And the, what I figured out was even though this goes into the gun, that sticks out. If the gun gets banged even gently, she cracks apart because it's only a little plastic lip and then the spring ejects all the rounds and it's kind of comical comical and hilarious so no use pre-built full full mags get it get 12 rounders be happy with it so overall i'm satisfied with the job you had to work around some shit that's fine that's not a knife uh, a little bit more planning to know that I couldn't do it. Like I had to decide that on the spot. Like he had to, like we stopped work for 40 minutes to discuss drainage and I'm like, but people are busy. They, can't, they literally have like, oh, I can work out the, everything. This, everything was done today. Nothing was done and then everything was done today. Before five o'clock, like it was check in hand, he was leaving. So. Oh, oh, oh. Yad sucks. Oh wait, I'll probably take off the, the hat. So you can actually see, hold on. How's my angularity? Oh, did I just fuck it up? Hold on. No, that's fine. That's fine too, everything's fine. I was tired, which is why I took a walk just now to like wake myself up. I'm also warm now. Let's take this jacket off. I was gonna show you the berm. At least we can go back out there with a chainsaw. If you really, really want to, vote chainsaw by pressing, by texting SAWD 08355. Unless you want a different ringtone, then text this to the... Do you remember when phones, are you that old? Who's as old as I am? And remembers when you had to text a number on your fucking phone to get a ringtone downloaded to your phone. What a fucking thing. What ads constantly. So I got a Yad Sucks ND filter. This is a variable ND filter. This camera doesn't have it. This is specifically for the Hero 9 and 10. 
which have interchangeable lenses. But this, I'm not touching the actual lens. Um, oh, it's got a lens cap. So the way a variable ND filter works is so fucking cool. It's basically two polarizing filters. Actually, I'm gonna take the camera off my head one more time. I hope you didn't look right in my eyes. I'm gonna look through this, and then I'm gonna turn the dial. Oh my God, it's it super dark. So it, it does have a little bit of a, you can see it's super dark. And if you turn the lens, again, you could adjust. It's like wearing variable sunglasses. So like if I went outside, actually, let's see. As bright as it goes, it's very awkward to hold this because there's a mount on there. There's nice and bright. I turn the ND filter. Like that would be good, like there. It's a little more natural than the camera trying to adjust and compensate for that much light. Like look at the clouds. So well, there's the clouds. And I guess, if I, I guess you can't really use it at the highest. That's just gonna break the fuck out of it. But yeah, now just a little bit. Just want a touch. A touch of sunglass. So I'm gonna try to use this on my cameras for the reviews. Don't know if it's gonna work. This is like a $40 item. But it is very cool. It's very cool regardless. Plus I think it's an actual lens adapter so I could just get different lenses for my GoPro now. Like actual official pasta. This is a Slim ND Vario 400. I don't know what size this adapter is. Oh, there it is. It's a 52 millimeter adapter for the GoPro Hero 9. So now my GoPro Hero 9 can have it. Oh, good. I just realized it's got a lens cap that I can forget to take off. That'll make me a real photographer. Right, we're just playing around now, trying to get trying to get things to make videos seem nicer. Um, Pasta wanted another watch. This was an Apple watch band that was in her in my cart from her. And I'm not sure if she wants it, but baby, it's here. This is the Al the Alnbo. ALNBO, Alnbo after sales service. If you have any problem, go to Alnbo Outlook. Oh my God, that is so fucking nice. So it's got the metal on the ends and it's like a stretchy scrunchie. It's a scrunchie. It's an Alaska scrunchie with little roses on it. So that's gonna go in her closet, size small. And then this, oh, another thing to do outside. So um, who remembers when I put the lights in my uh, quad? Which also, I'm scared to death to take my quad out now because it'll destroy everything. I don't think I want to take the quad. I may not be able to take the quad down the driveway without going like a mile an hour because it's got those aggressive mud tires. Anyway, these are the replacement uh, headlights I bought. They're actually fog lights. Pasta, just look up Autix. Oxito. A U X I T O. And um, these just go in there and they fit perfectly. The problem is the the fucking Polaris is used to being plugged in right to the bulb. So there was these extensions. So instead of being plugged right into the bulb, it was plugged in and then hanging. And this bulb is so close to where the fucking front wheel is. Like it's just exposed to mud and elements. It's like, why would you do this Polaris, you dumb fucks? But it got so close that this even just hanging down this far was enough to get it caught by the paddle wheels and fucking yanked this wire out of it. So I still have one bulb that works. So I need to put one bulb in and then I'll keep the other one as like a replacement in case, you know, my LED bulb explodes, I guess from damage. This one, that was nice of them to open it for me already. Oh, cast the stuff. So more to do with my filming in the basement. Um, I'm gonna try this before I try the ND filter or maybe I'll try both. But if we go down the basement, that's a mount. If we go down the basement, 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 um, I'll show you what I'm going to do with this. This is a Casa outdoor uh, plug dimmer. They only make plug-in modules that dim for outdoor use. Uh, Echo, turn on review desk. So review desk currently has just fucking full tits kill you brightness. Like these lights are fucking intense, like Native Americans. 
it was a joke and it was a terrible one. Please ignore me. I'm a terrible human being. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna replace the normal caster switch with a dimmable one. And then I'm gonna try different things. I might just put this light on and make it 90% might be enough so the camera doesn't freak out and blow out my hands. Which I don't know how the how the eight's handling it, but the 10 is just like, like these stickers, you have no visual concept. They're just bulges of white. So I'm gonna do that. Can I move this desk to do that now? Oh, don't fuck up my computer monitor. Oh, I'm gonna unplug this, because this is one of those things. This is it's a block from the projection screen. Then I'm gonna unplug this. It's gonna be completely fucking dark. Fantastic. And then I'm going to plug in is this is this oh I hope it isn't. That's going in there, and then that's going in here. And then this can go back up. Like this. Alright, so now... Wait, we'll do this... Well, fuck it, we're doing it live. Something's wrong with my wallpaper switcher, because I added more wallpapers, so the wallpaper doesn't change anymore, so we're starting my phone. That's fucked. Um, Casa. We blinking on this? This should have a blinking, yes. It's re green and orange. Add device, uh, smart plugs, uh, outdoor smart plug, next, orange and green. Give it a second. I'll show you how fast it is. If you have the app and it knows your Wi-Fi, I want to connect to the smart dimmer. We're waiting, we're waiting, it's finding it. Uh, I'm going to tell it to connect to that Wi-Fi network, hit join, tell it I'm already connected because I'm not on the same Wi-Fi network that that's using. That's on the IoT network, which is much lower bandwidth. We're going to wait for it to do its thing. Give, let it do it. Video's almost over, baby. I know you're watching this. Pasta's just constantly like, what the fuck? Hurry the fuck up. I'm demoing this. People are going to buy a Casa dimmer if I do. It makes that noise when it is connected. So it's connected now. That's a good noise of an orangutan um, during its mating season. Singing Limp Biscuit. Um, come on! It's almost there, I promise. It's almost there. It's almost there. Come on, I promise you, it's almost there. Okay, there it is. I'm going to name this. Now I'm going to name this Review Desk. Review Desk. Next. Uh, I'm going to pick the fountain, because that sounds like what it is. So now here is, we could set the lowest dimmer. So if you set it like one, because sometimes it'll shut bulbs off if you dim them too far. So that looks like it's about, oh, it actually goes down all the way. I think that's all the way. Yep, everything is still on. Sometimes dimmer bulbs will actually just turn off at like 30%. This works at full range, so that's it. That's nice. It's all good. Continue. Sounds good. And my, the echoes over there. Echo, review desk 75. I have to go over. Oh, uh, fuck. I have to go. All right. So I fucked up because this is called review desk. That's called review desk. And I got to plug this back in and then erase it from being review desk, because it's currently review desk. So luckily I have so many plugs down here. Plug this in here. There we go. You don't have to watch this part. I'm just gonna have to go in here. Um, what am I calling this now? Uh, what do I, what, anything else need one of these? I can have a turn on and off a subwoofer. I could do all sorts of shit with it. I'm just gonna say XXX cube plug. There. Enter. XXX cube plug. Done. Clicks off. Clicks on. Clicks off. So now I unplug it. And I could write on top of it XX. So you're 100%. The last one died. One died out when I was walking. The one died when I was in the basement. The last one died. I'm done. If anyone knows what this symbol is, let me know. Because I got this hat from my brother who got it from a friend. And it has no label. But I don't know what this is. Is this like 
an anti-Semitic symbol? Is it a Hindu symbol? Like, what am I advertising with this pie hat? Because I don't know. It's very American. Could it be a trucking company? Help. Help.